Hi guys, I know it's been a while, I recently got a new job, and my school is really hectic right now, but I want to show you what I'm currently reading and what I picked up in the last month or so. So I'm currently reading The Unseen, Book 3 and 4, Blood Brothers, Sin and Salvation. I stopped reading the cabinets because I just lost interest in it. I'm definitely going to pick it up again, but yeah. I'm so far really enjoying this book series, I would definitely recommend it. And then I picked up Chill Factor, which is the next book I'm going to be reading. I read the back of this, and I had to get the, and I had to get this book, and I love the Sting by Hale last year, so I might as well get this book. Yeah, I can't wait to read this. It looks like a really good psychological thriller suspense novel, so I really, really can't wait to read this next. And then I got Twilight Hunger, because it looks like a really good vampire book. I don't have that many vampire books on my shelf. Surprising, but this looks really good and it's a new author. And I'm always open to new authors, so yeah, it's like a really great book. And then I got The Immortal Rules by Julia Kagawa, it's a vampire book, and it's got gold edges and really nice. So, can't wait to read this. This is the trilogy. I'm gonna read book one if I like it, I'll get book two. And I really like this whole color for it, like the whole front, back, and spine. It's really nice. Especially this gold. But, yeah, can we do this? Then I picked up California Gold. Um, it's like a really good book. It's by John Jakes. I got this for like 50 cents at my local library, so it's like a really good book. And then I got another book at my local library sale, Sinful Scottish Letter, because Outlander. And I can't say no to like a dog. This looks like a really good book and I want to read it. And I bought Highland Duke once again for a dollar because Scotland. <laughs> also, I saw this book on Amazon that it was always like eight dollars and I can't find eight dollars like a book this small. So bought it for a dollar at my local library so can I wait to read this? And then I got Roses in Moonlight by Lynn Curlin. I think this is the second book to us to a time travel series by her and I love time travel romances. Hopefully I can get to it this year but we shall see. But I love the cover. I know it's cheesy but I love it. Then I bought The Road. I actually was very interested in this book like two years ago when I took a a uh, creative writing class, I mean not creative writing class, a uh, public speaking class at my community college. And one of my class, four more classmates did a speech on this book and I always wanted to read it but I can never find it for a good price because it was either super high price on Amazon and I couldn't justify spending the price on a not even 300 page book. So yeah. Got set Goodwill for 60 cents and I cannot wait to read this. Definitely I'm gonna read this definitely after uh, after Chill Factor by Sandra Brown. And then I've got The Continent. I'm a local library sale because this is supposed to be a very controversial book and I'm gonna read it just to see like what the controversy is all about but I mean the cover is cool I'm not a big futuristic dystopian reader I just kind of burn out burns out on that genre but this is a proof copy so it's kind of cool pick this up for like a dollar and then um, my book something darker actually has a brand new cover which looks gorgeous I love this cover so much I put a new tagline on it evening serial killers can find love 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 this cover it just i think goes so well with the story way better than my other cover and the spine is a little bit bigger yeah back which is the same you know info about me info about the book and this book's actually a little bit larger it's 182 pages which is awesome and i increased the font size so it's not like size 11 it's size 12 but i still think it's too small but in my next book, I am definitely going to uh, increase the uh, font size. So, yeah. That's news. I also picked up uh, Twilight New Moon in the Mass Market Paperback Edition. So, now I have all the books in Mass Market Paperback, which makes me very happy. I want to get Breaking Dawn with Bella, Jigs, and Edward for the uh, part one cover in Mass Market. But yeah. Love it. 
looks great on the shelf. I just ordered the movie cover edition for New Moon and Paperback. I got a Wolfpack necklace because I want as I want to try to get some like Twilight jewelry, and then I got Eclipse in two disc edition, and I also bought a Katie Rogel book. Yeah, so those are coming in the mail, and then I bought the Ultimate Fan edition of New Moon. I love the holographic how if you flip the Jacob it's Rose, and if you flip the Edward, it's the uh, Voltaire. But well, Voltaire, but. Yeah, I found this at my local Goodwill for like two dollars, and I couldn't say no to this. Like I, w I was gonna get the uh, the two disc edition, but I couldn't say no to the fan edition, and this does work perfectly fine. I play it on my DVD player, so that's basically all I got for the last month or so. So, yeah, comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, I'll leave my book info in the description below. So yeah. Have a good day or night and stay safe. Bye.